Hello, my name is Ben, and I'm going to be showing you how to use your Xbox 360 Rock Band drums to emulate a real drum set. First off, I'd like to say that my knowledge of computers can be rather limited, so I apologize in advance for not being able to answer your questions. There's another program that functions really well for newer computers that enables you to easily use two Xbox 360 drum sets on your computer. I'm referring to Andrew Rudson's drum machine. The reason I decided to make a program to use the Rock Band drums is because I kept running into issues when using Andrew's program. Mind you, the problems I experienced were not issues with the program itself, but with my older computer attempting to run Andrew's program. Some of these issues included drum lag. I'd hit the drum pad and hear the sound trigger a couple seconds later. I also had occasional issues when attempting to assign secondary function triggers to the drums. I also experienced a clipping sound after I'd hit the drums. If you follow my steps carefully, you should be able to enjoy an emulated drum set that can smoothly run on nearly any computer. Another plus, uh, if you decide to use my methods for hooking up the drums to your computer, is that you'll be able to create a very realistic sounding drum set. For instance, when you repeatedly hit the ride cymbal pad, the program will not play the exact same sound sample over and over again. Instead, the program will produce sounds that will vary slightly for every hit. So let's begin. First off, you need to go to Google and type in Joy to Key in the search bar. You'll then click on the first link at the top of the page and scroll to the bottom. There you'll find a link to download the file. Download this file. Next, we're going to go back to Google and you're going to type in drum site as one word. Hit search. And again, click on the first link. Here you'll be downloading a MIDI program called Drum Sight with the link at the bottom of the page. Next you'll need to go to carpron.com. Here in the search bar you'll type in Rock Band and hit enter. You'll see a picture of a drum set. Click on that. There will be two files to the right, one named Top Rack and the other named Default. You need to download both of these files, and I would suggest just putting them on your desktop for now. Now that you have both programs downloaded, I would first unzip Joy to Key. Just unzip it to a folder on your desktop and just name it Joy to Key. After that, you'll need to install Drum Sight. Just follow through with the normal installation instructions for the program. Now we're going to use the files that we downloaded earlier. First, we're going to take the top rack file and you can copy it. And you're going to paste it into the Joy to Key folder next to the program. As you, see, as you can see, I already have the file in there, but that's where it needs to go. Next, you'll take the default file, and you can go ahead and copy it. You're going to have to go to your computer, to the C drive, next, program files, then to the drum site demo folder, and go into drum sets. Here's where you replace the drum set uh, the drum site file default with the default that you downloaded earlier. You just need to copy and paste and agree to replacing this file. If you followed all the steps correctly, everything should work from here on out. Plug in your top set first so it comes up as first player and your bottom set in second so it comes up as second player. With both Rock Band drum sets plugged in, you'll now open your Joy to Key folder and open your Joy to Key program. Make sure that it says Top Rack in the program. That's the file that you imported into the Joy to Key folder. Now you can minimize Joy to Key and you'll be opening your drum site program. It's going to take a second to load, but when it opens up, if there's any windows that have popped up in the program, you can just close them you should be able to touch some of the keys on the keyboard, say for instance letter Q and W, and some drum sounds should be heard. 
not only should the keyboard keys make sound, but the drum pads themselves on your rock band drum kits should make sound too. Here's a walkthrough of the drums. This drum should be your snare. Tom 1. Tom 2, Tom 3. Here's the ride cymbal. pedal is your bass drum. Using the second pedal, hold it down and hit the hi-hat to play the hi-hat close. Open, but on close.